Hello everyone, so today is May 27th and this is our third meeting for the Building Jenkins.io with Alternative Tools project for Jenkins. Okay, so first, um, I think let's go over, uh, let's go over, let's see, the document we have for this project. Okay, can you guys see? Yeah, we can. So same project plan with the uh like like you said it, it it's it's um it's still like uh, not completed yet but um okay and I think I should put also the structure here so hang on I think the project should include should ideally include the following. It's not good. Hang on. Okay. So we should have goals and project objectives. So these two are, are your guiding principles. Uh, success metrics, um, which can be just um, combined with milestones and deliverables. So if we have reached a certain target within a certain time frame, then it's considered success. So uh, stakeholders and roles. This is simple for a project because we just have you and the mentors and maybe all admins as well and the community, the Jenkins community. So scope and resources is available. So this one is supposed to be like something like um, to be used for budgeting, but we don't have by consideration since this is open source and we use only um, mostly free resources. So scope, do you have any question about scope? Uh, I, I have questions about success metrics. So should we go from there? Yeah, sure. Yeah. So, so the success metric will be according to the uh, evaluations, the midterm and the final evaluation, right? Uh, yeah, or, or yep. weekly. Yep. So midterm, midterm, okay. okay. We can have incremental metrics if you want but those may not be as well so just midterm and final uh by we, we, so uh, the success metrics will depend on the midterm and final evaluation and what would that be midterm i guess it will be uh, the ed documentation that uh, has to be built has to be built with entora would be completed by then and final would be the rest of the site Awesome. Oh, so, I um, okay. Oh, I, I is it okay to dispute that? Yeah, sure. I think the project will have succeeded if docs.jenkins.io has version documentation, even if nothing else changed. Oh, okay. Yeah, you said that before, but I kept like not giving a lot of emphasis. So doc, docs or doc? Is it docs, doc? plural. Docs. Jenkins.io. Um, yeah. How, so how for for me the 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 crucial thing here is version documentation right that that is a, a key feature and getting that all the way to users um is is a great victory if nothing else happened if the blog stayed on jenkins.io with with austruct that still version documentation with antora would be a significant victory for the project okay. so for me i i i think we should we should accept uh, uh, it, it would be great if we also got the other things transitioned to Gatsby. That would really be wonderful. But I don't think I would call this project a, a failure in any way if it succeeded in delivering docs.jenkins.io with version documentation. So yeah, what but... you are saying, Mark, is that we uh, docs.jenkins.io should be the first milestone. Yeah. Is that? Is that what you are trying to convey? No, no, no. I'm saying that I'm saying that if the project achieves that, because I think that's large. I think if the project achieves that, I would love for that to be the first milestone. But if there are surprises or things that derail us, I will not have felt a failure if we only achieved the first milestone. Okay, okay. So this uh, this is kind of like a first milestone. But I got a question about the structure of the new website. So I I don't see it, like. 
it's not supposed to be dogs or chicken sign right, right now, right? This is just a structure we're gonna migrate into because I didn't pay attention to it. Okay, I'm not sure I understood your comment, Chris. It, could you? It, there's like there's there's some domain dogs. Is it in existence? It it is not, and that's why I like the that's why I'm so attracted by the idea of creating that subdomain or that 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 host name that entry is that it doesn't exist now so we will disrupt no one by creating it there oh. and if it's created there it it leaves the old site undisturbed yeah. until we're ready to disturb it ourselves okay cool yeah but um who should we talk to about this because our hosting team uh, is it info yeah, yeah so the the jenkins infra team knows how to do that uh, okay. We do it already with plugins.jenkins.io and stories.jenkins.io yeah. yeah. and with, uh, well, I think maybe one or two others. Okay. Uh, or the so next... the complete site will live on docs.jenkins.io after this project. Or right. only the documented. Oh, oh well, so no. So, so for me, I would, I think that it would be just fine if the versioned documentation we're on docs.jenkins.io and everything else could either be on docs or on on the www.jenkins.io either is fine for me the 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 transition from version non-version to version documentation is such a significantly valuable transition i think we should do it there now I, again, I'm not I'm not lead mentor, so it's perfectly okay for Vandit and Chris to say, "No, Mark, you're wrong." <laughs> don't don't be well, shy in saying that. No, I'm just. I, I think I think it's a good idea, yeah, because I've never seen Dark Star Jenkins style before. That's why I was like, mm, it, it could be it could be workable, but we need to coordinate with like the info team to do it. Correct. Okay. okay let's see. So, Craig Hawkins. Or the adopt, or the adopts. Right, and likewise stories and uh, accounts too. Uh, yeah, yes, yes, that's right. It's true. I hadn't even thought of accounts is a very different thing. Plugins and stories are both static sites. Accounts is is a is is really a different site because it's a a non-static site. It's got a database behind it and is yeah. Okay. Okay, so um, also success metrics that goes, okay, any other questions about success metrics or goals and project objectives? Because it, like, it's, it's like for some people, they, they define goals and project objectives a bit differently. So, um, well, they can be the same, depends on like how I like it. I, I, I wouldn't like, I wouldn't restrict you to define it any, in any particular way, but you could like, you could have just one set of objectives. We could have, um, and and on top of that goals, we you, you can just have like goals or just objectives. Uh, the project objective, the project objective is to migrate to uh, Gatsby now. Like the major part will be on Gatsby and to because, uh, version yeah. documentation. Yep. So the so these are the goals we have right now because everything will be like most of the things will be on Gatsby. Yeah, so we can say like, so for example, like let, let's do it here. So goals would be to uh, migrate from um, Ostrack or, sorry, Ostrack to Antorum. For version documentation, I guess. Mm -hmm. And uh, the objectives would be. So let me change to numbers. It's, no. Subjectives would be um to migrate to um documentation to, 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 to migrate back to um version up to uh, Gatsby. Gatsby version. Okay, and um, etc. 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 
Okay. So I think the most important part, as Mark said, is this part. And Toro Farm. Gatsby is not as important. But we could have like I think I think like if we use this convention, we can also have um I'm not sure if he's done this right now. We we could also have blocks. Yeah. Yeah, we'll like we'll actually get version docs done with and after that, uh like Gat Gats like you said, Gatsby is not that important. It, it, it's for the rest of the site and like uh mm -hmm. we can we maybe maybe we can like uh if uh, if things are going well with Gatsby and we have completed more than in more than half of the Gatsby side, maybe we can like uh file in for extended time period. Yeah, okay. Yep. If if we do if we have if we like get things done on Gatsby part. Yeah, sure. Sounds good. Okay, so stakeholders and roles. Uh the stakeholders are the community and the uh, Jenkins infra team because uh, currently Jenkins infra hosts the Jenkins.io site. So the infra team. Yeah, I agree. So, and these so are the main stake. Yeah. Are there two? Is is there is there a way to? Is it worth it for us to differentiate or to make make it clear that there are authors who are are certainly one set of stake? Oh, roles. Good. Okay. Yeah. So there are authors. People are content contributors, right? And then there are readers. And and those those I think are both interesting stakeholders, right? The Jenkins community is is sort of a reader, but Chris Stern, Mark Waite, Kevin Martins, Alex Brandis, we we tend to be authors. GSOC GSOC contributors writing blog posts tend to be authors. Um, it will be better to like uh, call it developers. No, 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 no. That would be, that would be vague. Yeah. yeah, that would be vague. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I, I, whatever word helps us. I, I have no problem with it. I certainly, when I write, I'm doing development, but people, other people tend to get confused. They think develop, they, there may be times when they think development is creating the scripts and the tools that build the site. And that's distinct from writing about pipelines and writing about uh, why you should do things this way or that way. Yeah, we can, we can, we can. Yeah, like uh, Chris wrote, uh, we can replace the readers with users because users read the documentation most most of the time. Right. Okay. Okay. So how about this? Kind of four roles: authors, readers, co-contributors, and maintainers. Mm. Yep. Okay. So is scope and resources available. So scope could be a hard part because it's kind of vague. Scope would be um well depends depends on uh, depends on progress. Could be uh, initially uh, it is a version documentation, right? Or version documentation. Or version documentation. Yes. Okay. Oh, I I'm a bit confused about the resources available. Like, what does that? Uh, what is it trying to say? What are the resources like uh, the tools we are using? And Torrent, Gatsby, yeah. are these the resources? Yep, those are like example. They're, they're like they're like they can be, but um, wait. resources available. So it can be like um, and Torrent, which is open source, so it's free. Gimpy, Gatsby, which is also free, Gatsby, open source. So, uh, how is that? Subdomain by info, which is like, which is not, not free, but we have, we can, we can open a ticket for it. Can open a ticket for this. 
Okay. Subdomains. Or maybe I say these. Okay. Also, I think so. Like all the things that are like uh, resources that are available could be. Um, could be. Could be anything, but it's like exact. I'll just put exact for now. So it's not as important to project. Could be get, get hub get. But those are not. Um, but these are the main main resources we have and will be extensively used. Yeah, but um, are you on Mac or Windows? Uh, I'm on Linux right now. Oh, Linux, that's cool. That's easy, yeah. It's kind of like a Mac. <laughs> <laughs> so, um... Oh, my Berkeley. My Berkeley roots would be terribly offended at that. But okay, that's great. Ooh, okay, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Okay, next milestones, deliverables, and project dependencies. So, um, I think we should uh we should grip it as such. So milestones and deliverables. So you you have to work on this, which is similar to what you have in your proposal. Because you have the days being done originally, but you may need to revise them. So it should be a yeah I, I like the dates will be revised but the main milestones will uh, will be same the duration will be revised uh may need to um, yeah may need to revise um well, so okay next project dependencies i don't think there's much like well I can only think of one for now hosting of a new subdomain will be dependent on us having a drop in site available. Okay, that's it. Anything else you guys can think of? I can't think of anything that will be a dependency right now. Because we is it's it's more like a front end project, so it's like there are not much dependencies. Yeah. But not like a back end project. So That's... online schedule should be um Chris, I just re there is one more dependency and maybe it's it's related to the hosting of the new subdomain. Yeah. Um, we will certainly want preview sites to be available while working through iterations, right? So uh, ci.jenkins.io today does preview sites of, of changes to jenkins.io and they're very, very helpful for to evaluate. Uh, and it's just a natural flow out of the Jenkins CI, CI pro process on the current site. We may need Gavin Mogan's or someone else's help to set it up for the for the docs.jenkins.io subdomain. Okay. But I can I can ask Gavin about this later, maybe. So Vandi, uh, were you comfortable with my phrasing there? I think you've already used the preview sites. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. the, the it was discussed it was extensively discussed in the uh, main ticket uh, about the migration that Great. we would need Kevin's ha help because he handles uh, the deploy uh, the preview stuff yeah we can talk to him okay so communication plan i think like for timeline and schedule it should be it, it's just it's it should be like something to complement what we have for milestones and deliverables so it should be similar. Uh, I, 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 I can like, I can put them in a table with milestones and timeline, like weekly milestones and main, main milestones. Or we can use a, do, do, have you heard of this before? Like, um, Gantt shot? Uh, yeah, I can do, yeah, I can, we can work with that, but like, yeah. Uh, the, it, yeah, I'll have to create an image for that because wikis don't like, really support uh gan charts okay. yeah by default yeah i i can try okay we can, or we, use, um, we could use Chrome, which is free 
or maybe I, or we have like talk about before Jura. Okay. I think they might have like a game chat feature for Jura. I'm not sure. I need to test it. I haven't used it in a while. I think like for some software like Monday they do have the like, game charts. So if you have a like a Kanban board, they would often make a general Gantt chart for you. Yeah, there are there are many tools for Gantt chart. Yeah, but I I I might I might have a difficult time uh, like uh, actually inputting the data because once I have created a Gantt chart and all the data was messed up after inputting it. So yeah, yeah I I I'll, I'll see what will work best. Okay. Okay. So communication plan. So we have four mentors, and you, the contributor. So we should establish like most for which kind of channel for what type of communication. So first maybe Gitter. Next would be um I think email. Next would be a uh, Zoom calls. Zoom. Okay. So Zoom is obvious because it's used for weekly. How about Gitter? So it's for how you can asynchronous use... conversation for day to day updates. Okay. So for day to day daily convo. Um maybe urgent matter? Urgent or no, yeah, urgent matter. So email to more formal matters. So what case for timeline for establishing for maybe timelines for managing timelines? I think it's the next space in and progress. Weekly for Zoom is like weekly meetings. So anything I've missed for this? Nope, we got a voice. Okay, good. So is one day good enough for you, or do you want more days to work on that? Uh, no, I I I'll uh, I'll do most of the stuff by tomorrow, and I'll uh, like I will I will like inform you to uh, give it a read if everything is uh, and we can like uh, build it build it build it from there. Okay. The wiki. And of Sunday. Yeah. And of Sunday. So maybe make it on IST. Okay. Yeah. So we've done we've done that. Done. So it's a detailed milestones and deliverables. boys. Maybe maybe look should we do it now or do we have the time? Maybe we do have a little bit more time. Milestones and deliverables. So do I have your Where's your, do you still have your, uh, proposal somewhere? Yeah, 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 it should be there. Yeah, in the link. Um, or is it here? Uh, I'll send it, I'll send the link to the Gitter channel. Wait. Okay. Okay. I think we have it here. Uh, do you want, uh, editor access? Do you want to, like, change things? Mm, yeah, maybe. Just okay. just for us though. Not not for public. Not for viewers. Yeah, I I've sent it there. Okay. Okay, so for I think it's in somewhere here, so proposed timeline. So that includes all the project deliverables. Okay, too bad. No, no heavy links, right? Yeah, there. Okay, good. Project deliverables. Maybe you should um make these more incremental. Is it possible? Because like for the website, if we go back to Jenkins.io, um, we can see like there are it just just for just for documentation. Maybe just for user guy. There's so many sections here. I also have certain pages, tutorials, developer guide, and even for a developer guide, it's not trivial. Yeah, that uh, it, we just have to like move it there. We don't have to make it versioned or 
uh, change anything in, in it. Yeah, but um, I'm thinking like for for your deliverables, you should like have smaller tasks and uh, more detailed planning. Uh, but uh, I'll I'll be I'll be uh, dividing the t larger tasks into small okay. ones in my timeline. So like yeah. you can track the progress if uh, like to uh, on a weekly or a bi weekly basis that this will be done by this week. This will be done by this week, and uh, this large goal will be done by after these after this this number of weeks. Yeah, like, but I think for, yeah. Go ahead. I, I just disrupted you, sorry. But um, I'm thinking like it's for fine. this project, we can do weekly instead of bi-weekly because I am expecting you to work on this uh, pretty quickly. Yeah. So, we, so um, because like um, the, the concepts are quite simple, but um, the work, the final work may not be. Yeah, the the work is simple too until we get, we get hit with the roadblock. Yeah, true. So um, so we we can plan up to um maybe uh by dates up to August. Yeah. Yeah, and we we think about what to well how whether to change it later to apply for extension. Yeah, like uh, how when can we like when can when can be when can we submit for uh timeline ex uh, for extended time period. I think extensions like maybe August for if you want to extend it to September. It, I yeah, think it's it's by I, I don't remember exactly how it's done, but it could be weekly or bi weekly. We can we can we can we can like discuss about that on week eleven. Like yeah. that will be appropriate amount of time. Yeah. By sure. then the program yeah. The by then we we can we can decide by uh, on the basis of the progress by then. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Okay. So also let's see fish improvements. So I think um I think our timeline was not very detailed, but it was sufficient to get a glimpse. So we have to um have to check whether you have everything here. So first, the UI bundle. So um have you have you done this step already? Uh, I just I have to yeah I I have done that. I just have to start working on the UI bundle. Which right. will be comparatively easy because I'll have to implement the table of contents, the sidebar, uh, to match the current Jenkins layout and the colors. Yeah, because in not... yeah, go ahead. Yeah, yeah because in the uh, in in version documentation, there's not many man, like there's not many uh, components that need editing. Like there are not not very uh, there are not very much components that need to be redesigned there we have table of content uh yeah. sidebar and uh, maybe uh uh i'm forgetting the word uh that arrow thingy that we have on jenkins.io for, for for switching to the pages yeah do you mean navigation yeah yeah pagination pagination oh pagination yeah oh, we have three three items up top yeah, yeah. So, so we'll be like, so that will be done. It will take less time, but I'll have to check that it is working on each uh, in on every page and like, uh, that at the time that will, uh, I, the more time that I will like, use will be on checking things too, okay. because there are lots of pages on in the documentation. Okay. Okay. Sure. So, so that, yeah. That... But, UI bundle will take uh, around like I guess one week one week. Yeah, it will take it will take around one week. One week for this, okay. One two, I I say one to two weeks. Just, yeah, just, yeah, like one to two weeks, just just to be on the safer side. So just in case you have you got stuck in anything, just yeah. finally never know. Okay, so um, let's just focus on weeks one and two. So weeks one and two. Yeah, and while working on the UI bundle, like I, I'll, I'll, while working on the UI bundle, more, the other things will be like, uh, I, I, they, I, they will be done while working on the UI bundle, like they are related to it, like the navigation structure and that. Okay. Some so part of all these is completed. 
Okay. Okay. So I just need to check a repo, right? So I can pull a template. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So pause for the completion. Okay. Update so playbook according to the project. So this is just like after you've completed the requirement for a structure, right? Yeah, yep. Yeah. The playbook project will, uh, the playbook project like uh, I'd, I I'll have to I'll have to update it once everything is done in the UI bundle. So like it fetches the new UI changes. Oh, that's easy. I'm just one. Click yeah, on. yeah. That like yeah. That that won't take much time. Yeah, because like I'm I'm trying out like in Tor two is it's I, quite to set up except the UI is quite a bit of hassle. Yeah, yeah. I I think we can remove the fifth fifth checkbox because like uh we won't be using the existing fifth fifth uh fifth yeah. Let's take the existing modules. We can remove the take the existing modules checkbox because like we won't be uh, converting the existing modules. You can just do this. Hang on. Yeah. From the text. Okay. So this is the things that I'll have to do for the first two weeks. Okay. Good. Simplification structure with modules. So do you mean like for um uh like I like I explained in the last meeting, uh, you uh, for for the side for the sidebar navigation on the pages, the table of content, you will ha you have to manually write uh, in Antora, uh, giving the xref links. Yeah. So yeah. that that is what uh, I'm trying to say. Set up a new navigation structure. Okay. Is is there a way to automate this? Like, if we add a new, or do we have to manually do this every single time? Uh, I I can I can check with check in with the Antora community for that if they have a a a plugin for that. Okay. I I I don't currently know if they have something like that. But what I I have seen in the documentation there is not uh, like explicitly stated that okay. you can use this or that. Okay, sounds good. Yeah, and then we will leave weeks stream for until next time. Yeah. Okay, so it's this one, so it's done. Check for for um, for, sorry, one for weeks. One and two. So it's the arrangements for co use by mentors. So um I think I I expect all four of us would be reading your code, but um maybe I, I must. So Mark will definitely do that. And with Jeff and Yiming will do that like if and when they have time. But the thing is that um, only, I think currently only Mark and I have to uh, have to merge accents. So you need to uh, ping with Jif and Yiming on every PR if you submit. But um, I think we're not, hang on. So we're using the repo, right? And we're not on it. So every time, so for 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 um for that case, how do you handle like reviewing code that way? Because like we're we're using your private account repo. And so isn't it that Vandeep adds Rajiv and Yiming as as collaborators? I have collaborators. That's the word. Yeah, I have yeah, already. But... I have already sent them the invite. Yeah, right. but how, how does it work for PR reviews? Can we open PRs that way? And uh, once it's opened, how do we have? We, I haven't tried to do it that way yet. Maybe we can. I I can I can like uh, send send the link to the Gitter channel every time I raise a PR and ping uh, everyone there. Yeah, because I, I I checked it. it. It works a bit differently from like um from when like, you have yeah. Yeah, the like most uh, 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 everyone will have to own, will only have to check the getter for new updates. Okay, sure, works for me. How about what you've been naming? Any concerns about this? No, no, it's working. Okay. Yeah, it, it works for me. Okay. Cool. May also may also ping mantras. Um, 
I think you, you could open PRs to if if PRs. Could be, um, let's try it that way. Okay, so any other issue we should talk about today? Uh nope. Uh everything is alright. Okay, so let me see. So I think for me I'll have to um should start uh should start Congo and or Okay. This one should be a oh okay. Okay. So any other questions from other other mentors? So Mark, do you have any questions? Okay, with Jeff. Uh no, not from my side. Okay, you mean any questions? Any concerns? Uh no concerns. Okay, good. So um let's stop here and let's so uh, it's Saturday this time, okay for everyone. Still, just want to check because like some people may may have things to do on weekends. Okay, cool. Okay, so we'll see you guys next week. Thanks yeah, for coming. Bye. Yep. All right. Thanks, Mandy. Bye. 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 Thank Thanks. So much. Yeah. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. Thank you, Rajiv. Thank you, Amin. Thank you, Chris, for your time. You're welcome.